some beautiful vintage books. More books from friends. Hey there, it's Care. Welcome to Matega at the Lake. You may or may not have noticed I've been gone a little while, but I'm always thinking of you. I made these beautiful videos as I was driving back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth across the state the last few weeks. Difficult to make, edit, post videos when you're in the car. And it feels like I've spent most of my life in the car for the last several weeks. I know these times come up and I try to post ahead and have enough recorded and sort of banked because these gaps in my life come up uh, now and again. Uh, however, my video reserves have run dry, so I've been MIA for a little while, but you are never, ever far from my thoughts. Thus, this beautiful footage on this gray, rainy day. Uh, and still, the leaves were putting on such a spectacular display. Just amazing. So I wanted to share a little bit of a bit of the beauty of, of, of a northern Michigan fall. I also have a couple of updates. I have loads of new projects going on, uh, working on getting to know your palette workshops for the Patreon page. Uh, I've got a podcast in the works and another channel that I'm working on. All of which is to say, for a little while, there may be fewer videos here instead of three or four a week, maybe one or two a week, or they may be less video, uh, excuse me, less editing going on because that takes an enormous amount of time. I'm not sure how it's all going to work out, but I'm sure it's all going to work out. I just wanted to let you know that I'm not going anywhere as far as the channel. It's still going to be right here. I will keep you posted on the other projects just in case there's some things that you might be interested in. Uh, a little bit of true crime going on, some get your life in gear kind of stuff, the watercolor color theory workshops. There's just all kinds of things going on behind the scenes here. So bear with me as I get used to this new schedule. I also want to take just a few seconds because I don't think I do it nearly enough to thank you to those of you who do watch consistently, who have subscribed, uh, who leave comments and remember to press the like button. All of those things help enormously for a small channel that's trying to grow. So if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing. That's always free. Uh, check out our Patreon page because there are lots of free things there too. You can sign up for Patreon to support the channel for as little as $2 a month, $5 a month, whatever. Uh, right now it's you get to pick your price. Uh, there's all kinds of ways to help support the channel. A lot of them are free by liking the videos, simply hitting the thumbs up, that's free, by subscribing to the channel by watching the videos, by leaving comments, by sharing the videos that you really like, that you get a lot out of on your own social media, pin them on your Pinterest journal boards or share them on Instagram. All of those things are free for you to do except for a little bit of time and effort and they will help immensely. And all the things that you already do, I appreciate deeply. On that note, let me show you these cool books I got. Actually, a book from a friend. Books from a friend, Leanne, brought me these beautiful vintage books. I'm going to start with my favorite so I can put it back in its safe spot out of the way of spatter and paint throwing and who you know glue and all the stuff that goes on in here. This book doesn't live in the studio. <laughs> It's just visiting. This is called Putnam's Minute a Day English. And it is nineteen twenty-one. 
And I would just like to appreciate the pristine condition that this book is in. For being 101 years old. It is so beautiful. And it's all these beautiful, simple, simple little daily lessons. Page of Silent Bees. Lip practice. Repeat several times. I just think it's an amazing little book. Minute a day English. <laughs> I just love it. So uh, these are fun. These are Masters Deluxe Classics. Edgar Allan Poe. Masterpieces of Mystery and 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea by Jules Verne. Very pretty, and again, in pretty darn fine condition. Nice coloring. I do believe that's some sort of mold, but you see that on a lot of older books. Just gives it character. Nineteen sixty nine. Any more illustrations? No, no more illustrations. Must they must be probably from a it looks like a series, almost like an encyclopedia collection. Very, very cool. The other one had a nice all oh, there. The Walton Boys. And gold in the snow. Look at that great illustration. 1948. So help me out here. Uh, not a big fan of the Waltons, but I wonder if the Waltons have anything to do with the Walton boys. Bert Walton. The only one I remember is John Boy. Good night, John Boy, but looky here. <laughs> was popular. Look at all the people that took it out. Over and over and over again. Look at that. And this 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 is kind of a cool library pocket. You don't see it that way very often. That's pretty awesome. Lots of little people signature on there so they wouldn't steal the book. That's fabulous. This one's a little a little tired, but it's been well loved. It was taken home over and over and over again. <laughs> and lovingly read. That's so cool. You remember do you remember being that young and reading? And just being swept away and losing hours and disappearing into the story. And wow. Daughters of the Revolution and their times, 1769 to 1776. An inscription, which is so cool. So cool. Oh dear. This, this one's coming right out. A couple of pages there. Oh, it's got... Look at that to protect the picture. Eight. Holy Hannah. 1895. Wowzer. This is a historical romance by Charles Coffin. Look at that beautiful. What would you call it? Other than an illustration. Emblem, 1895. Wow. I was all jazzed about the 100-year-old one. And I wish you could feel how heavy this book is compared to this one. This one feels like it's a fake book. Like there's nothing in it but air. Like it's a box. But it's a book. The pages are so light compared to this one. I, I bet this one weighs a couple pounds. That's some serious paper. That's awesome. Mary Pickford, Sunshine and Shadow. 
by Double Day. Look at the beautiful coloring. I want to say modeling because it's not quite caramely. Like some of them are caramel around the edges. This is kind of modeled, but it has a an interesting model pattern. 1955 by Mary Pickford herself. Forward by Cecil B. DeMille. Some great pictures. And tucked in, I don't know if it was tucked in this book or not, but um, a health questionnaire that is beautifully aged and it's crumbling. Patient signature, confidential health history. More found ephemera, that's pretty cool. And this one, the Atlantic Monthly. This volume, 1896. Now again, this is this one's not, this one's, uh, look, we can see how they did their bands. It's just a piece of cardboard or light, light chipboard bent. But the detail on this book is so pretty. And these, it looks like stitching, but it's printed here on the corners. So pretty. So it's a collection of all of the, this one came from Winona, Minnesota. A collection of all the Atlanta monthlies. Same emblem, liter literature, science, art, and politics. Copyright eight, 1895 and 96 by Houghton Mifflin. One of Hawthorne's unprinted notebooks. I think this one will be fantastic to thumb through and and read and check up since it's all about art and science and literature and whatnot. Again, for as old as it is, the inside is in beautiful shape. It's not falling apart at all. The the binding itself is in is beautiful. Look how nice it's aged. It's all kind of coming apart there in the beautiful curve of those pages. You don't get that anymore amazing books she she's uh she's found some really beautiful beautiful things including this little bugger he's just so cute i love the size of him and uh of course everything he's about so once again thank you thank you to leanne uh lots more coming from leanne and her mom they're i just like I said she brought me a truckload. Not kidding. When I say her whole back seat was full. <laughs> so I just wanted to kind of give it some sort of organization. I believe this is all the old, old stuff. I might find another piece here and there. We never know. So if I do, I, I will certainly show it to you. I said there's more to come from these hauls. So keep your eye out. Until then, you have a lovely, lovely crafty day. Please love up your beastlies. Give them extra treats today. I'll take it to the lake. Out for now.